now, another MTG Casual Commander. What's up, everybody? It's TJ coming to you live, uh, MTG Casual Commander. We are going to showcase the Outlaws of Thunder Junction Commander decks for you. I am going to open this one right here, Most Wanted, and it's Olivia, the Opulent Outlaw. We're going to take a look, and uh, we're going to show you what's inside here. But... You guys know me, I love my black my black decks. I love Rakdos, I love vampires. So this is a perfect one for me to showcase because Olivia is always mean and she's in a lot of my other commander decks and this is her new iteration. So you know, she's here. She's here to, uh, you know, create havoc and, and, and commit crimes. All right. Oh, this is new, look at this. A little, some kind of little sleeve here. What? They're getting better at putting these uh, these little collector sample packs in here without getting damaged or anything. So we're gonna open that too. There's a little deck box and everything. Right. I think so right. many people damage those cards trying to get them out of. Yeah, the it, it, they're getting better at that because you know you don't wanna you don't wanna have a damaged collector pack. What if you get something good? Like you remember the Lord of the Rings ones where you could get that. One ring that was worth like $800. Oh, yeah. Because it's the only foil printing. Ooh, she's looking good, you guys. Look at that. Fancy looking borderless foil. I like that treatment, you know? Remember, they, you know, they never used to do foils on that. And then they started doing foils just of the regular. They're up in their game, you guys. They're up in their game. All right. I've always been a fan of Olivia. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Olivia is, uh, she's mean. She's mean and nasty, and that's why I like her. All right, what do we got here? All right, so this is your base commander. Now, there are other, other options in here. They always give you a couple options on who can be your commander, but Olivia is what this deck is themed around. She's a vampire assassin and costs four. And, you know, so Mardu colors. Flying lifelink 3-3. Three, three. Whenever one or more outlaws you control deal damage to a player, create a treasure. So you want to have a lot of assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, warlocks. Those are your outlaws. You want to have a lot of those in here. I'm sure it's loaded. And then you pay three to sacrifice two treasures to put two 1-1 one -one counters on each creature you control. So, you know, just, 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 just attack, create treasures, sack the treasures to make all of your outlaws a little bit bigger. And she's a 3-3 three, three for four. All right, this is another option for your commander. This guy's actually really good. He's a dwarf warlock, is Vahan Goldwaker. Other outlaws have vigilance and haste, so he's he's giving uh, all you guys buffs. And at the beginning of combat, you may have treasures you control become 3-3 three, three construct assassins. So um, all those treasure tokens at combat, you can attack with those. And then post combat, you can sacrifice them to make your other creatures bigger. So you know, just just go wide with your treasures. Attack, sack, get big. Big and wide is the theme of this deck. Council's Judgment always a fun card. Um, Will of the Council is 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 great to get the whole table involved. A lot of uh, a lot of politicking involved with Will of the Council. Intervention. Cell sword. We ride at dawn. Massacre girl. She's great. Board removal. Fane the broker reprint. This is awesome. This guy was one of my favorite. Uh, I believe that was from Str Strixhaven, right? Um, Fane the broker was his original printing. Anyway, he's really good. Witch of the Moors from Jumpstart. Really good reprint. This has got some cool stuff in here. Nighthawk Scavenger. It's already looking better. I mean, yeah, this is looking really good, you guys. It's already looking better than the Fallout ones for reprint ones. Camber the Plunderer. Yeah, the reprints are great in here. Hex is in here. Mari from New Cap. So there's some there's some cool uh, reprints, and then there's gonna be some some neat first prints like a uh, you know Char Grave Robber. Look at this Skeleton Mercenary. Back in town, there's some really oh rankles in here. What? Okay, so this is Darfly Ravager two from Ixalan. Man, this is this is good stuff. Darfly Daredevil, great reprint. Grenzo's in here. Wow, I didn't really captivating crew. Oh yeah, that's 
Control. Gain Control. Gain Control. Steely McGee. Reign of Riches. Awesome card. Wow. I'm telling you, this is this is stacked. Lorena Diversion. Another great card. Mass Mutiny. Mass Mutiny. I've I've lost this card a few times. Yup. Yup. Steal. Steal. Steal and attack. Life insurance. Brina's in here. Oh man, Brina just spiked too. Queen Marchesa's in here. And oh, she's getting low this the is now. this is stacked. Brina spiked, I think, last week. No, I'm talking about Kaza. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. I'm pretty excited about this. Feed the Swarm is a must-have black card. Discussing the commander deck. Oh, dude, this is great. Butters is here. It's already looking better. Dash than is ball here. Cards. We're looking at There's this. So, Shiny Impetus, so Humble what's the, Defector. What's the main thing that this makes for the stack work? Well, you you want to go wide with your treasures and and but and then sack them to make your creatures bigger. That's kind of what it is. Uh, Vahan and Olivia, you could you could make this work with either one of those commander options. And you know, just you just got your lands in here and your tokens, mercenary token, but. There are a ton of powerful reprints Wait, in here. Does it not have a thicker version of the commander like they used to do? I didn't see one. No. Oh, Did you see one? Did they now. stop doing the thick? They stopped doing the thick printing. It looks like on the on the commander. But man, let's let's take a look back. Massacre Girl, Fane the Broker, Witch of the Moors. There's some really good reprints in here. Rankles in here. Dire Fleet, Daredevil's in here. Wow. Grenzo, yes. Marchesa's in here. Brina's in here. This thing is stacked, you guys. All right. Well, I'm excited to play this. And I don't know. What would you guys do? Which which would, would you do would you do Vahan and give all your other outlaws vigilance and haste? And then be able to attack with your 3-3 three, three construct assassins? Or would you go with Olivia? And flying lifelink, and then whenever one or more of your outlaws deals combat damage, you create a treasure, and then you can sack them to make your creatures bigger. Man, that's that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Two good options. No, I just have them both on the field. Just gotta have them both at the same time, and then you're then you're you're in business. All right, let's open this. Uh, let's open this little collector booster sample pack. Let's see what we got. Save the spice for last, right, you guys? What are you going to do with your commander deck? Two commanders at the same time. Two commanders at the same time. Hey, I mean, that's what partners are for, right? All right, what do we got? Annie Flash the Veteran Mythic. <laughs> I cannot lose on ripping packs today. Mythic again, Annie Flash, and a Hindering Light Foil. That is pretty dope. Well, that's the Wanted Poster version. Too. Yeah, Wanted Poster, Annie Flash. Ooh, baby. All right, well, I am stoked to play this deck, and I hope you all are too. Give us a like and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, let's see some comments in the, in, the, in the comment section. Which one would you run? How are you feeling about the deck? I think it's pretty cool. Seems like it's pretty powerful. And, uh, you know, Outlaw Junction. Seems pretty cool to me. Thanks, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Trample that like button. And if you dare, comment below. Let the magic continue.